to be with you virtually. I can just see all of you having these big smiles on your faces. Why? Because your exams are done and the holidays are around the corner. But I also know that there's a special smile in your hearts because one of these days on Christmas, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. MP4 player with a very good set of earphones. Barbecue equipment. And um, that there's a future and that you can be happy with your future. We are part of an incredible story that God is writing. It's not just any story, it's actually a true story of a lot of things that happened and things that are still happening today. It's a story about a loving, good father who always comes again to bring his children to him. One of the best parts about this story is here, with Christmas, that Jesus has come to earth. He becomes one of us. He lives here on earth. Can you believe he was also a baby, a child, a teenager. It's a salvation story. A story of hope and waiting and surprises and humanity. Do you want to hear more? Then come closer because it's story time. Not just any story, but the story. A true story and you are part of it. Luke 2, verse 36 to 38. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped day and night, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. What an incredible moment. Anna meets Jesus. She was hoping and waiting, and then this amazing thing happened. She got to see Jesus. Hope. It's a word we, we easily use, right? But it's a very special word with deep meaning. Hope is to wait and see while you believe and trust that something good is going to happen. Have you ever hoped for something? I have. Sometimes you hope for something and then it doesn't happen or you don't get it. It's not a great feeling, but today I have good news to share with you. Christmas is a story of hope that will not disappoint you. This, this does not necessarily mean that you, that you will get all the gifts you want, but that you will get the greatest gift of all, a friendship with Jesus. Now, Anna was a prophet. This is someone who told people what God said. She always tried to do what God asked and listen to what He said. She stuck to what God promised. One of these promises was that God would send the Messiah, the person who would save everyone, Jesus. Can you imagine how she felt when, after all the years of hoping and waiting, Joseph and Mary brought the Son of God, the Messiah, into the church of the time. God had finally sent the Savior. God remembered His promise and did, not, and, and did what He said He would do. This must have been the best news ever to her. She did not hope in vain. Hope is not just waiting for better days. It's not an empty waiting, it's a waiting while you expect something to happen. God invites us to wait excitingly for great things that, that He is going to do with us. Christmas is full of hope because we remember that God keeps His promises and is always with His people. We remember that He made a plan and that we may live with Him forever. Talk to someone who lives with you 
about all the things that God promises and, and look forward to what God is doing now and, and what He is going to do next. It's exciting. We hope for great, wonderful things as we go and follow Jesus. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you for the hope we have in you because of, because of your coming, because of your birth, because of Christmas. Thank you so much that you are near, that you are God with us. Be with each one this week and thank you that we know that you are near. Amen. Bye guys. <laughs>